Hello, I am Iman. Hi, I am Miza. I'm Danilia. I'm Tasha. Hi, my name is Ain. At first, or in the beginning, I will let you know what is hazard. Hazard is defined as any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone. In a short form, hazard is an unavoidable danger or risk. Mm, are you still confused what is hazard? Let me give you an example of what is hazard. Hazard can come in five types. The first being first, we have biological hazards. Second, chemical hazard. Physical hazard. Fourth, safety hazard. Fifth, ergonomic hazard. For example, hazard can come in working up later, noise, chemicals, and also electricity. Oh, oh, start right here. Can you see how dangerous the idle wire is to the students passing by in that area? This is what we call a safety hazard, where it is an unsafe condition that can cause injury, illness, and even death. From this video, we can see that there is two holes in the middle of the walk lane. Oh no! Actually, I have seen someone just walk past it and nearly fell off. The holes can become even more bigger and worse that can cause injury. It can cause injury on the legs and also can cause broken bones. This hazard is physical hazard which means factors or conditions within the environment that can harm your health. The solution is we need to report these issues as soon as possible. Now, I'm going to talk about electrical hazard around campus that often to be happen in laboratory which is broken socket plug. The action in this video showed that the socket plug is broken which we can see that the wire from the socket plug is coming up from the socket plug housing. The action of the girl trying to adjusting the electrical component with bare hands without the proper attire and basic and electrical will cause hazards such as electrical shock and injury. The main switch should be first to turn off to make sure that the electric to stop flowing. Some causes of electric shock include is the faulty of appliances, damage of freight cords. The most important way to prevent electrical shock is to ensure all electrical equipment is installed properly and the licensed electrician should perform the electrical work to prevent any unexpected hazards that could result in injury. From this video, we can see there is unused drawing stand still in the middle of the footpath. The drawing stand did not start at the right place. It can cause hazard where students can trip in their foot while walking. This can cause injury to the legs of students or worse can cause the drawing stand still to fall over the student. This hazard is classified as physical hazard which means exposure to slips, trips, falls, electricity, noise, vibration, radiation, heat, cold, and fire. The solution is the drawing stand need to be stored in a specific room or arrange it nicely after use so it does not blocking the room. Wait, wait. Seriously? As you can see from this video, the girl is trying to put a huge storage bag on top of the locker. We found that she is facing a hazard. This is because she was using a stool and it is unstable. The stool is not suitable for her because it is too short for her since she needs to stand on tiptoes to put that storage bag above. So, let's take a look at this stool. It was loose and shaking. If the girl did not take a precaution, it will cause hazards. So, rather than using a stool, she can use a stair. As you can see from all of the video in the previous part about the hazard, such as mechanical hazard, electrical hazard, 
biological hazard, and chemical hazard, we should always take a precaution to avoid any hazard to occur. It is very important to improve and increase the effort in promoting safety and health to all because hazards could happen everywhere. Remember, safety first!